Well, Singapore's labour market is on the path to recovery, though border restrictions mean this will likely be uneven across sectors. The Manpower Ministry has given these insights in its latest report, which reveals a better showing for the third quarter. One analyst says businesses reliant on foreign manpower will need to pay more to entice locals to fill the openings. Chua Tian reports. Singapore's labour market remains resilient despite on and off pandemic curbs imposed between July and September. Total employment dipped by 2,400 in Q3. It's a significant improvement from the previous quarter's drop of more than 16,000. The Manpower Ministry says this was contributed by a strong growth in resident employment driven by sectors like infocoms as well as health and social services. Non-resident employment, on the other hand, continued to decline at a rate similar to that in Q2 due to ongoing border restrictions. While unemployment rates fell, it's still above pre-COVID-19 levels. In September, it stood at 2.6% overall and 3.5% for residents. Long-term unemployment rates, however, climbed to 1.2% in the same month. But one analyst says this is not necessarily a concern. There's also confidence in the local resident workforce that they're able to find work. This is a case of the resilience, I suppose, of the labour market here, that they can still pick and choose. There were fewer workers laid off in the third quarter. Two-thirds of retrenched residents also found jobs within six months. There was a lower number of employees on short work week or temporary layoff. Of note is the significant decrease in the number of employees from the air transport and the supporting services uh, segment uh, that uh, were on short work week or temporary layoffs. Uh, and, and we see this as a positive development uh, given the travel restrictions. Still, the ministry cautions that some businesses may find it difficult to hire workers. For one, the ratio of job vacancies to every unemployed person is higher at 2 to 1. It's the highest ratio in at least 24 years. More than a third of jobs are in sectors that are heavily dependent on work permit holders. If you are in those industries which used to depend a lot on foreign workers, then they essentially will have to offer a lot more in terms of terms, in terms of wages, etc., to entice them to move. In a Facebook post, Manpower Minister Dr Tan Si Leng says the labour market is making good progress and he's optimistic that this trend will continue. Dr Tan says his ministry is also working with tripartite partners. They want to support employers and workers better adapt to the changing needs of a post-COVID economy.